In the Bible, it says, cast all your anxieties on God. It doesn't say cast some of your anxieties on God so that you can keep some to worry about yourself. It says all your anxieties. And then it goes on, it says, for God cares about you. That's 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Well, you are not separated from God. Many people feel they are. Many people feel that God is way, 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 way far off and that they are only going to get God's attention if they beg and beg and beg and plead and try to get the attention of a preoccupied God. Well, that's just not true. God is with you right now, even if you feel God isn't. Now, Jesus says pray constantly. Well, that's not to get God's attention. That's to get your attention, to remember, to recall God's presence with you. Because God's protecting presence goes with you wherever you go, enfolding you, guiding you, and nurturing you. Even as you sleep, God's life and intelligence in the organ and systems of your body are doing wondrous work, sustaining and nurturing you every moment. Even as you sleep, God can be taking care of details that uh, you don't think can be taken care of. Yet you wake in the morning, you find out that the whole world has changed. God's mighty healing activity, it is constantly moving in and through your mind and your body, restoring you completely to wholeness. Your mind is continually filled with radiant and divine ideas that brighten your life and fulfill you in every single way. For this... And even more, you say, thank you, God, for loving me so. You make every day, not just one day, a day of thanksgiving. You return your love to God by returning your love to others around you. You live in a circle of divine love. And you know, in that circle, wherever you go, you're taken care of, and you're blessed in every single way.